Hello everybody, this is Lawrence Simon of isfullofcrap.com giving you a rare video commentary on the world. Passover is right around the corner. Hold on. No, it's not here yet. Um, but uh, one of the things about Passover that I find fascinating is the idea of matzah. Now, uh, you've probably seen uh, stupid flash videos from uh, Jib Jab and uh, all sorts of other stuff out there. Um, to make the short of it, uh, it is bread that hasn't had the opportunity to rise. Uh, it's unleavened, and so uh, leavening meaning, of course, uh, well, I don't know what it means. Something to do with rising and, and yeast and all that. Uh, but the, the point is, it uh, the Jews didn't have time uh, to let the bread rise uh, before they were like, hey, get out of here. Hey, come on, get, get, go, go. You're not, you know, you're not on the payroll anymore. Get out of here. So uh, the the thought is it's a uh, it, it, even though it's you know freaking crackers, uh, it, it's the best that they could do with the time that they had. Uh, if they had had more time, if they'd planned in advance, maybe they'd have what the bread risen and all that. Um, but here's the thing, you know, it, it's a uh, it, it, it's a food stuff that is out of haste. Uh, but of some kind of you know joy of the fact that it's hasty, but still we you know eat it to commemorate the fact that you know hey get out of here hey get lost. Um, so that's what makes this uh, uh, somewhat confusing. This is Manischewitz ultimate double dipped egg matzah. As you can see, it, it says that it's milk chocolate smothered, <laughs> drizzled with dark chocolate. And I'm going to read the back of it here. Our ultimate double dip chocolate egg matzah is so delicious, there is only one word to describe it. Sacrilegious. Uh, ultimate. Uh, we took our crispy Passover egg matzah, dunked in the highest quality milk chocolate, and then smothered it in the chocolate again to get it a rich, thick coating. And if that wasn't enough, we then drizzled dark chocolate on top of it for the finishing touch. So go ahead and treat yourself. You deserve it. <laughs> oh, you've been released from slavery. Here, have yourself a snack. Um, it's also, uh, here's the thing. Um, apparently, okay, hold on, allergy information produced in a plant that also processes milk, nut, wheat, soy, and egg-containing products. Airborne traces of milk, nuts, wheat, soy, and eggs may be present. Because as we all know back then, allergies were a chief concern. Uh, but it's got the big old circle U and the P, which means that it's certified by that uh, Orthodox Union and uh, certified for Passover. Now, <laughs> imagine way back when uh, Moses uh, and all the Israelites and all that, uh, well, not yet Israelites because they weren't there yet, uh, but Moses and all the Hebrews or Jews or whatever, you know, the freed slaves, um, instead of getting 40 acres and a mule, they got a boot in the ass, you know, get out of here, if you ain't, you know, if you lean, you clean, and get the hell, but, um, imagine that in their haste, uh, they don't have time to let the bread rise, but of course they've got plenty of time to dip the matzah, uh, not just once, not just twice, but also drizzle it with dark chocolate. Now imagine the argument between Shecky the baker and Moses and and all that leading these folks out of there it's like hey, come on Moses you know you don't have time to let the bread rise but hold on we got to let the second layer set before we can drizzle on the dark chocolate so um you know three cheers for the Manischewitz people for truly um uh heightening the absurd here um <laughs> I mean, what next? Double dip chocolate yardsite candles? <laughs> Scent that's right, glade scented yardsite candles. <gasps> My mother died last year. Ah, boysenberry. I don't know. Anyway, this is Lawrence Simon, is full of crap dot com. Uh letting you know. Um happy Passover.